Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Make America Lit, back with another NBA 2K24 video, and in today's video, I have another episode of NBA Player Builds for you guys, as you can see on your screen. In today's episode, we are going to be creating Toronto Raptors' own Scotty Barnes, so with that being said, let's jump right into the build now. Scotty Barnes plays the power forward slash small forward position for the Toronto Raptors. He is 6'7", 225 pounds with a 7'3 wingspan. Now, as you can see here on our uh, physical template, we were able to get 6'7", we were able to go 225, and we were able to go with a 7'3 wingspan. Now, with his particular build, we will be able to get pretty much almost, you know, all of his accurate uh, attributes because he is a somewhat lower rated player. He's not like, you know, a 98 or a 99 or a ni or even a 90 uh, overall player. So, you know, some of these players, they have ridiculous attributes that you can't even get because of their height or their weight or their wingspan or whatever. So uh, with Scotty Barnes, we're most likely going to be able to get everything that he has. And then some, we're definitely going to have more badges than his actual build has, making this build much better than, you know, actual Scotty Barnes' build. But like I said, again, let's uh, get into the build. 6'7", 225, 7'3", on a wingspan. Uh, these are the attributes I went with. Now, his attributes are an 86 layup, an 80 standing dunk, an 80 driving dunk, an 86 close shot with a 79 mid-range, an 83 ball with a 73 free throw. Um, he has a 77 pass accuracy with a 79 ball handle and a 77 speed with ball. He has an 80 interior defense, 80 perimeter defense, 49 steals, 76 block, a 60 offensive rebound with a 71 defensive rebound. And then for his physicals, he has an 82 speed and acceleration with a 74 strength, a 92 vert, and an 88 stamina. So right here, as you can see, based on these attributes, I pretty much got most of his stuff um for the finishing we didn't go close shot just because close shot really isn't needed whether you have a 25 close shot or or 50 close shot 66 it doesn't really matter you're gonna finish all the same i don't touch the close shot at all and i finish layups down low and shot standing layups and stuff so i don't bother with close shot um <coughs> excuse me 86 driving layup um decent more more than enough to get hall of fame pro touch more than enough to get all of those layer badges on gold or Hall of Fame. Besides uh, Whistle and Slithery, those are the only ones. And uh, Fearless Finisher, which, I mean, you know, that's that's not too bad. I mean, that's only because we don't have the uh, layup needed. Uh, one more point would have gotten us that. Two more points would have got you Kobe Bryant's layup, uh, uh, you know, animation. If you care to have a really good animation. But otherwise, um, you know, fairly balanced finishing. You can lay the ball up. You can, you know, dunk the ball. You got some posterizer, some slithery. You got precision dunker. You got aerial wizard. Uh, you can catch lobs with this, you know, um, a pro uh, alley-oop packages and stuff. You got an 80 standing dunk, so you're going to have fast twitch and rise up. This is just a really good uh, versatile build. Like, to me, I've always said that the worst thing you can do is be one-dimensional, and this build is far from one-dimensional. Uh, you got some midi, you got a three ball where you can hit your shots, space the floor. Not the greatest badges, obviously, because, you know, usually when we have a low three, we compensate by putting the mid-range higher. But because he has a lower mid-range and stuff, I didn't really want to, uh, you know, f f verge far too away from, like, his actual build. You know, I just tweaked it here and there. So I went with a 79 midi, a 83 with a 74 free throw. And that's more than enough for you to space the floor. Uh, mostly silver uh, shooting badges besides that one bronze dead eye badge. Um, you know, same thing with the uh, three shooting badges. Most of these badges are going to be silver besides that gold comeback kid, bronze dead eye, and bronze agent three. Uh, no limitless range on this uh, badge, but that's fine. You, I mean, on this build, but that's fine. You'll still be able to, you know, space the floor shoot from you know wing or the three uh i have a lockdown build with a 79 three ball and i have no problem knocking down shots from the wing from the three from the top of the key it doesn't really matter as long as i'm open and taking a smart shot i still knock down and i still knock down at a 72 percent uh clip so you know that's very good you know to say that i'm you know switching between builds with like a 79 three ball and whatnot uh, moving on, we have a 77 pass accuracy, 80 ball handle, and a 75 speed with ball. That is more than enough to not only create your own looks, but also help create offense for other people. You have that, uh, you know, silver unpluckable 
uh, ankle breaker, speed booster, blow by. You'll be able to get to the rim for yourself. And then you have the 77 pass accuracy with bronze needle threader to move the rock around as well, too, so you can create offense for your team. Then we have the 81 interior defense, the 72 perimeter with a 76 block and a 70 defensive rebound, meaning that you'll be able to do it all. You'll be able to get stops down low. You'll be able to play some decent defense on the perimeter. You got that bronze challenger, bronze fast speed, and bronze ankle braces. And then you also have that 76 block, you know, to get blocks and stuff, as well as a 70 defensive rebound. Um, the only thing I could really recommend if I was going to make any tweaks to this build was that I would probably bring my interior defense down just so that I can put this block up so that way we can get, um, you know, bronze anchor. That right there would be the only change that I make. But if you if you don't care about, you know, not having bronze anchor, I would go uh, the interior defense because interior defense is definitely important for playing hands-up defense. That right there is like the only minor change that I would make. And I went with the interior defense over that just because at the time when I was making this build, I was like, oh, well, I'm going to get put at the power forward position. I made this build at the power forward position, which means you're going to get put at center sometimes. Like, you know, if you're playing solo, right? So I would prefer to have the interior defense. I had even dropped the speed with ball down some just to put more interior defense up to like a, I think like an 86. But then I took it down because I was like, well, I need to be able to create offense as well too. Scotty Barnes is able to create and get his own looks and whatnot. So I didn't want to be too lacking in that department. So I ended up just nixing that, putting the speed with ball back up and just dropping the interior defense back down. But again, you can tweak that. You can bring the interior defense down to an 80 and then I guess throw that on like that and then you know be good with that but that's up to you guys um and then moving on to the physicals the 82 speed so you can keep up with your guys on the perimeter you'll be quite you'll be fast you'll be able to get up and down the court especially at the four where dudes are usually a little bit slower uh depending on who you're matching up against if you're matching up against with a true four you're probably going to be faster but a lot of times you get matched up with small fours so you might be on equal ground um same thing with the 78 acceleration of course, that's on the offense where you have the ball. 74 strength, while not the greatest, is enough to play defense, get, you know, body up animations, bump people and stuff, and bang down low. It's not the greatest strength, obviously, but you're not going to really be expecting to guard centers or play centers. You know, this isn't like a, a really good defensive build. This is kind of like an all-around type of build. You could do a little bit of everything. You could rebound. You could shoot. You know, you could pull up, you could dribble, you could pass the ball, you could dunk, you could lay the ball up, you could rebound. You know what I mean? You could do a little bit of everything. And then finally, the 90 vertical. And the 90 vertical is what's really going to tie this build together because that's the, one of the best things about this build is the physicals. That 90 vertical is going to be able to get you those lob animations where you catch those dunks. It's going to get you, you know, that 70 defensive rebound isn't going to feel like a 70 defensive rebound when you're jumping out the gym with a 90 vertical grabbing boards and stuff. So do keep that in mind as well, too. You got bronze box out beats with bronze rebound chaser with a 90 vertical and a 70 defensive rebound. You're going to get boards. And if you look at that 76 block, you're going to get blocked, especially on a chase down you know, with a 90 vertical. So that's important to look at as well, too. And then finally, the 93 stamina, just to round up the build. We don't have um, high enough perimeter defense for 94 feet. And we also don't have a high enough ball handle for goal handles for days. So I cap my stamina at 93. If you don't, you can bring your free throw down, I believe. You can bring your free throw down to like 71 so you can keep that free points bad. And then you could just throw that onto your stamina if you want. I just went 93 because there's no point in going higher when, you know, I'm not going to get any badges for it, workhorse, handles for days, or anything like that. So I leave it at that 93. If I had a 92 or 91 ball handle, then I would put that up to a 96 for goal handles for days. But since I don't, I'm going to just let it rock like that. And then, of course, when we create our build, we'll see our shades of, which you see who's at the very top of that shades of. We have Jonathan Kuminga. We have Kyle Kuzma. And then, of course, we have our very own Scotty Barnes at the very top. So there you have it. This is my Scotty Barnes build, a three-level threat for NBA 2K24. It's been your boy, Make America Lit. Please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K24 content and more builds like this. I'm out, y'all. Peace.